the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is, it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session, and we're not meant to do that. We need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ or don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used the, one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start this session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title, is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial. Belial. Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate. What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth, uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I've even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something little with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments 
or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least bias bias uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in here. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can and understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation or transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study and, and I hope you come back again and we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's go ahead into our discussion that we had this Sunday. I'll check you when I see you later. Amen. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. We got uh, a, a large percentage of the people in this country right now. Despite something that somebody is going through, they refuse to accept it. Is that, is that something you can explain? Because I, I, I mean, you're talking about the modern day. Modern day. That people are willing to reject all the contrary evidence and, and say, I'm uh, looking at the guy right here, the guy who said, and so and so said, I've been indicted for you. And, and now I need you to accept that. <laughs> and people accept it. And you're like, really? Yeah, yeah, I, I got indicted for you. You know, and despite the pictures, what, hey, what, 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 forget the pictures you see. The pictures don't mean nothing, you know? <laughs> or how about police people who, who uh, now the videos are messing them up, right? And 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 then still say ignore that picture because you don't get the whole story. You don't get the full story. Uh, well, well, we we can use it to incriminate somebody who's not <laughs> tied to this justice system, but we can't use it to incriminate somebody, you know, tied to the system. Right, right. We can show you someone caught on camera killing or beating somebody <laughs> and and prosecute. Yeah. But if it's somebody along the line, the law, mm. who's tied to the justice system doing it, well, there's got to be something more to it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we just can't use this video. Mm, mm, mm. The but, brutality and everything else that goes with it. We got to get the whole story. He must have did something wrong. He must have provoked, provoked the situation. Uh, it's, it's, it's screaming. <laughs> Unjust. It, it really does. Uh, when they when the court system gives them a pass mm. if they are not punished like the citizens would be punished mm -hmm. then that's saying oh it's okay to kill mm. a person which, which was in, historically if we go back yeah. it was it, and it still, it still is to a degree right now it's like yeah I agree it is it's that's why they try to find a pass some reason some justification no matter how small it is to 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 do something because yeah, the person everybody knows that if you examine anyone born of a woman on this world if you examine their lives you're going to see corruption mm. I mean, you're going to see uh, lawlessness. <laughs> you're going to see uh, actions outside of love. And so the first thing they do, knowing this, that there's no one that exists that hasn't done anything wrong, first thing they do is they go in a person's history and they find the bad things. Mm -hmm. And they put that out there to, to kind of offset the injustice of an, another. Yeah, he was like, uh, like somebody brought the king that situation with Trayvon Martin. You know, <laughs> they they even talk about the, the girl that was testifying that was on the phone. Ooh, here you go, you're breaking. You starting to break up a little bit. 
Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. You do, let you know when you do see that, I'm I'm gonna start. I get quiet because I'm trying to figure this must be breaking. You know. Oh yeah. And and I can't do nothing until it it finished. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that goes for you too. You know. Oh, it's 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 sad. Well, it's sad, but it's it's the it's, it's fact is that that's why I think that scripture you was talking about uh, is we need to learn to separate ourselves from people who's teaching something uh, contrary. And that that's different from pre-ministering to somebody who don't know the gospel, uh, but at least willing to listen. If they're willing to listen, you continue to talk. If they don't want to talk, that that that's fine. I think when you get with people who are actually teaching contrary, straight up, because some of you, like I said, those parents who teach generational racism, they're teaching it, right? It, yeah. And, and they, they're going, to, they're taking their children home. They just heard the song, Yes, Jesus Loves Me, but they go home and say, But I want you to love this person yeah. or these people. Uh, I, I don't want you to try to deal with those neighbors, you know. Uh, I don't, when we get to that, that's why that scripture says, that verse the guy was saying, and that what Paul said, wherefore come, what? Out from among them. Right? And then the, 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 the computer sits there and say, he restated it, doesn't it? And, and he says this, separate themselves from those who do not follow the teaching or indulge in unclean practices. And 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 how in the world you you help me and anybody else can help me and I'm yeah I'm gonna use the history because I can use the day too. Uh that that January 6th going up into that that capital was that a clean act? Well, that's there was no love in that. No, I didn't see anybody that was outside of that building operating. There were angry people. Not, not, not one person was operating in love. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, let me put it this way: they were loving the position that they thought was being threatened. Yeah, their yeah, their their way, their system. Yeah. Yeah. And they knew even though they knew the evidence didn't support them, they did it. You know? They they supported lawlessness. They try to disrupt. And people sit there and say, No, 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 they're patriots. But like Black Lives Matters were, they were rioters. Yeah. You they, know, they were peace though they were peaceful, demonstrating, they were considered Bad. bad people and violent <laughs> to be dealt with physically forcefully. yes sir forcefully yeah yeah but you <laughs> have somebody who was violent <laughs> physically uh, they were fine mm -hmm. and they just needed to be kept at bay they were patriots and then they, 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 it was i was looking at the news the other day uh, when you had the, the FBI uh, came in and testified before Congress, and you saw the, the joke and hypocrisy of the one party is trying to label them, that, you know, bad. And then they, they did you hear about one of the, they were trying to say one of the people in the, in the riot for January 6th was supposed to be an FBI yeah. informant as, as, as if he instigated and that was the guy was at the rails yeah. like that's really ludicrous yeah, but there was police officers there was military personnel there were military leaders sure. there was there was pastors and preachers out there yes sir right you know, so so <laughs> and to say and the, the, the dance it is and to take a stranger which is a, which was a trumpian anyway who is suing <laughs> other people that's trying to say that he was an FBI. Because he's like, look, I'm one of y'all. And y'all gonna sit there and single me out and tell me I'm uh, I'm an FBI informant. And that I'm responsible for instigating those 
thousands or hundreds of people. <laughs> but you know, the, the crazy thing is that it's, it's the rich and powerful few that motivate the poor. Yes, sir. Masses mm -hmm. to do their will. And I, I just don't get it because they don't get any stake in that. They're not achieving anything other than a position that is, you're better than. Yeah, you. I'm taking it, because that's what the whole point is. You're threatening from, you. hey, you know, you know we joke about it many times. You're threatening to take my water fountain. Yeah. And people probably don't say what they say. You remember, just be, just in case those don't know, remember, it used to be the, uh, it used to be a bathroom for people uh, that are of different ethnic groups. They call it color. And then it is a bathroom for whites only. Uh, and, and and see that 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 we gave you something. Uh, if you go back further, but Jim Crow laws and all that stuff, they they can't go to the front door. What are they going to the front door for? They can't eat in it. They can't eat in it. And you can eat in the in the dining area. They they no, they can't eat it here. That see, it, you know, even though they don't put no more money in your pocket because I don't want to give you no more money. <laughs> Right, I don't want to give you more money, but I want to give you privileges that has no value. And here's the biggest thing: you ready? And it also does not give help you with eternal life. No, nothing at all. You're worried about something that has no eternal life value, and I think ministries need to always remember to teach it from that perspective. And I talk about, and even when they talk about abortion, people, you could be pro-life, but if you pro-life for a percentage of, of what the value of life is, but you have no care about the life of the born, you have no care about mass incarceration or lynching or you know you know what I'm saying those things that also matters that's why people had a problem with black lives matter because they're sitting there saying this well all lives matter well then make that true make that true if you if you pro-life then you pro-life what brother could I would say from 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 the from the conception to the grave you should be pro, that's pro-life to me. That is pro-life. And, and that's the only thing we're trying to say. If you you motivated by one thing, and then you're also motivated for the wrong thing because some people really is not, they, they're talking about the high mortality, mortality rate of uh, women, people of color, African-Americans, going to the hospital to, to do a routine birth. Yeah. And all of a sudden now you got a 41, that's what I saw yesterday, it was at 41%. That means there's people killing yeah. these people. Yeah. You know, it's, it's amazing. It, it, it's amazing how obvious there's two systems, if not three. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Of, 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 uh, laws yeah and actions done by those who are in power um but it's always those who are of color who suffer behind. you gotta find a scapegoat right and so it's 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 designed to, and see the thing about it was is that it was designed that way to 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 divide and conquer and everything else to justify bad you know the the it first of all it started just to justify slavery yeah. right uh and then is to to once it, the uh poor whites were feeling like hey i'm not getting a piece of this pie at all i'm not getting anything mm -hmm. then they started getting upset then these people said well, we got to come up with a solution for them because 
all of them outnumber us. When you talk about what, 1% has the wealth for the, for the world, yeah. right? These people recognize is that, hey, if we don't keep the division and the divide and everything, they're going to come after our 1%. They're going to look at us. Yeah. So oh. what's the best way to do it? Keep them looking at other people. Uh, divide, divide and conquer. Against each other. And right. Because they're fighting against each other for the crumbs. Crumbs, too. They won't look on top of this table and see all these delectables. Come on now. <laughs> the, 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 the wealth that I can go, I can go to SpaceX and, yeah. and you know, pay all that money to, to go into space. I don't have a problem with space. I love space travel. But the fact is, when you're making it, it's only for a selected few. Uh, but the sad thing is, these selected few get to see how fragile and how isolated this this world is. Yeah. And how there's no boundaries. Yeah. How there's it's, it's it's all based upon a global mm -hmm. function, you know, and yet they come back to this earth and they go right back to the division. Yeah. You yeah, know, some of them do. That's I hope I hope somebody changed and get a perspective. Well, I would I, do I was I was in there like even with the uh, weather thing right now, right? They they said scientists are concerned and, and, and they we probably need to be concerned with them about the, the temperature in the ocean. But this is the other thing. Uh they use the word of God <laughs> to abuse this planet. <laughs> they did. So they if did. God's word is gonna to come to pass, so we're not worried about destroying it. Oh, God. You know, oh. so, so if, if God's put this earth here and it's supposed to operate until Yeshua returns, then we can't destroy it. That's then, it. Then sad. climate control or, or climate abuse and all this other stuff, it's not going to destroy this world. In yeah. Which so they'll, they'll use they'll use the Bible yeah. as a weapon for any, anything that benefits that them. Opposes them yeah. in their quest for for power and money. Yes, sir. And 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 and, and, and it's sad because the fact is that it the scientists are concerned about we reach a point of no return. We need to we need to reverse some things before we reach the point of the return, and they understand the impact. Like I said, the the water down in Miami, the 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 temperature of the oceans, uh, it impacts the ecosystem. Eventually, if it if it impacts, you know, I was matter of fact, you know what, y'all, I was thinking about the because you look at the map and you see the temperatures rising. And I'm thinking about in the book of Revelation about the the oceans. So was it ocean the seas turn to blood? Mm -hmm. Meaning when things start dying, it, it could turn to that yeah. death. Yeah. If it's too hot. Yeah. It's talking about the coral reef and all these things, these things that that ecosystem feeds off of. Uh, look, talking about the, the, the rainforest, right? The people sitting there cutting the trees down. And they don't really... <laughs> for, for money. For money. <laughs> for money. And don't oh, you know, that is our oxygen, right? That's that's one of the places where we get our oxygen. Uh, yeah. well, uh, I, I need the money. Uh, but well, it, you know, it's, 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 it's ridiculous, you know. It's, but it is. It is. It is what it is. But that goes back into back in line with saying is he said separate from themselves from those who do not follow the teaching meaning that everything that you do should fall to equal life not death and yet we got people ministries getting involved with politics will teach something to justify bad to me i call bad behavior right and he says it's time for us to separate ourselves from that What's the next one here? Uh, let me see. You were this one. Yeah. 18. Yeah. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the study, the session we just went through. I have break those sessions down. I have broken those, broken those sessions down from A, B, C, D, or whatever it takes to finish them out. And then I just uh, post those on a daily basis throughout the week. 
And I will share those as much as possible to everybody uh, on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. And, you know, I will send some out on text. I normally try to send ones on text on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It takes you Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, of the session that we had. So uh, I just hope you just capture the whole point is that we need to be able to actually focus on the Word of God and practice the Word of God and stop fellowshipping with people that teach things that's contrary to the Word of God. Now, I tell you not to go and minister and go preach the gospel to, 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 the, to the world, but when you actually have people who profess to be Christians and then they try to teach things contrary to the scriptures, not contrary to your ministry, your denomination, uh, or whatever somebody else tells you, what you want to do as an individual is responsible for doing what the scriptures say. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Is all we want to be able to do emphasize in this teaching. You know, so uh, there's no, the title uh, as we gave here, and I'll show it again just to close out with it, the title, and I'll update the title in itself, but it says, what fellowship has Christ with Belial, Belial represents the devil, or love with hate? What, what fellowship do those two have? They don't have any. Uh, and that's why you want to make sure that you don't demonstrate the things or the, 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 the tools and manners of the devil. You want to demonstrate the tools of Christ, the love of Christ, the teaching of Christ. You know, I, I put in a song in this and they say, yes, you know, you know that old song, the Christian song, children's song that says, you know, yes, Jesus loves me. Uh, because the Bible tells me so. And I put it in there to say, and it's a, that that's an incomplete song. And I know it's a children's song. And I just encourage the people to add some other things to the song, such as, yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus forgives you. Yes, I forgive you because the Bible tells me so. You see what I'm saying? That for us as believers, mature believers, is the fact is what does the Bible tell us so, right? And that's that's what I want you to remember that. And then also this scripture here that uh, I mentioned in the introduction, well, I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning it now, is uh, in the closing, excuse me, is James 3.11. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet order and bitter? Verse 12, can a fig tree, my brother, bear olive berries, either a vine, fig, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. So when you got hate, everything else coming out of you, you ask yourself, how's that? If you're supposed to preach the gospel, which is good news, if you're supposed to operate in love, which is the doctrine of the gospel, but you're showing hate and you're showing discontent, you need to check yourself. And you got to sit there and say, I'm following the will of God or following the will of man or myself. I said, follow Christ. Amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoy the study. And then I hope you'll see the rest of these segments as we go along and do it. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> bye bye. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.